Hello everyone, welcome to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at Charlie Thorne and the Last Equation, chapter 40 and 41. It starts off with um, the Mossad uh, tailing this SUV. Tailing is an expression we use to say uh, following someone, um, maybe without them knowing it. Um, certainly it can be following someone just with them knowing it too, but just following someone. And uh, so the Mossad are tailing this SUV and they're excited because they've they're got Charlie Thorne and the Dante and Milana, <laughs> the fools. And they wait for the, for the road to open up and then crash. They hit the car and they smash it into some kind of heap or wall. And the Mossad agents go in there with their guns and oh, oh, there's just some terrified kid. Um, and no Milana, no Dante, and no Charlie Thorne. And uh, whew, uh, Samil is angry. Well, the Furies are listening to this whole conversation going on, and uh, luckily, they, well, unluckily for us, but luckily for them, they didn't follow the Mossad, and they instead listened to John Russo and headed to the airport. At the airport, oh, God must be with them again, because even though they're out looking in the main airport, uh, Lexi just turns backwards for some reason, and right as he turns backwards, whoosh, he sees the car with Dante, Milana, and Charlie. He gets on his radio, gets the Furies back in the car, and they head for the private terminal in the airport. At the private terminal, um, Charlie and Milana and Dante are going in. And, you know, the, the terminal agent guards don't look that serious. Um, they don't really check things that well. And they just kind of let everyone go through. But right as they're kind of um, checking all the documents, they get a phone call. And they're like, oh, that phone never rings. But they pick it up. And right as they pick it up, <laughs> Charlie, or Dante and Milana jump into action whoopa, and knock out the guards. Because they know that phone call is saying, don't let anyone leave. Well, once the guards go down, uh, I think Charlie turns backwards. And she sees the Furies coming at him. And she says, the Furies are here. So Dante and Milana get their guns, they start shooting, and the Furies start shooting, and oh, they're stuck. They're stuck here in this moment. Oh, I think that might be um, in the next chapter, actually. They all get, they all go to the ground. Milana and Dante start shooting. The Furies start shooting, and they're, they're both just stuck. The Furies can't move anywhere, or they'll get shot, and um, our heroes can't go anywhere, because they'll get shot. Oh, what to do, what to do. Charlie starts to use her brain. And she starts to skip and jump to between different um, covers, which is blocking. And uh, she finds this huge fire extinguisher. And she's like, Dante, psst, psst, Dante. And Dante's looking at her like, oh, come on, leave me alone. I'm in a gunfight. Um, but then she points to the fire extinguisher. Ah, I, I imagine Charlie gets away from the fire extinguisher, but Dante shoots the fire extinguisher. <gasps> Poof! It explodes, and it um, actually explodes this window out, and then there's like s smoke everywhere. Milana, Dante, and Charlie jump out the window through the smoke, Whew. and then they start to run for the airplane. <laughs> Running for the airplane. Um... Charlie's trying to signal the people to stop fueling the gas. Um, they can't see her at all. They can't hear her at all because they've got um, things in their ears. Everything's so loud. But the pilot sees Charlie. And so the pilot has orders to do whatever Charlie asks. So he just pulls away from the gas line. Gas starts going everywhere as the jet slowly starts to pull forward. Um, Dante and Milana are running for the jet too. Charlie makes it into the jet. Whew, lucky. But Milana and Dante stop because the Furies are coming out the window firing their guns. And 
all the Furies have to do to kill everyone is to shoot the huge gas tanker. <gasps> Boom! The explosion would explode the airplane and certainly kill Charlie. So Dante and Milana lay down and they start pow, 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 shooting the Furies as they come out. One, two, three, four, five. I think there's five. They knock them all down and then they get up and start running for the plane. Unfortunately, <laughs> more people start coming, probably the Mossad, from the airport and they start shooting at the airplane. Um, Charlie gets on and Milana's running as fast as she can and Charlie helps Milana and then Dante's still behind and the pilot says, we gotta go, we gotta close the hatch. But Charlie can't, can't leave Dante behind. Dante's running and he jumps. Milana, not Milana, Charlie catches him and almost gets pulled off. Right as that happens, the one of the, uh, I can't remember which one of it is, the Furies, he sh is almost dead and he starts shooting at the gas. Boom! It explodes and it actually pushes Dante into the airplane. <laughs> so it actually helps him out. And they all get whew, safely on the jet. Wow. Um, they fly off and the pilot kind of says, hey, um, I'm no, I'm not supposed to ask any questions, but who are you guys? And Charlie is so funny. She says, we're Bible salesmen and our Bible had a misprint and it said, the Lord is your dog. And, uh, they got really crazy and they're a bunch of zealous people trying to kill us. And <laughs> the pilot doesn't believe it, but he says, okay, okay, no more questions. And he just starts flying away. Well, it goes back to Samil who learns, oh, they got away. Well, they don't know what to do, but they try to contact the airport. Okay, which direction was the airplane headed? Um, were you tracking the airplane? Okay, it looks like it was headed towards this place. Maybe that's really where they were going and we'll just have to check. It's a long shot. They probably aren't going to be there, but we'll try anyways. And that's how the chapter ends. All right, let's jump into vocabulary. Thinned out means the traffic became less and less. So there's more room. If you imagine like the lanes and the traffic being thick with cars, thinning out means less and less cars. Um, that could also be like hair too. Um, when I was young, my hair started to thin out to get less and less. So we can use it in a lot of different air situations. Embankment. That's kind of the, um, on the side of the road, it goes under, it goes down and up. And that's called the embankment. And they crash the car and it hit the side and poof, hit the embankment. Hail the cab is to call, call the cab. Hail means like call. Stench is a powerful, stinky smell. Snagged. Um, usually we say like like something oh, snagged and ripped usually, like something snagged your clothes. But in this case, I think Charlie snagged Milana and was just kind of tight, pulled, hook um, kind of thing. Lunge is a jump, um, jump with like everything. <gasps> if Dante would have missed Milan or Charlie's hand, he would have fallen on his face. I think of like volleyball players. Volleyball players lunge for the ball. Concussion. Um, concussion is like the force of a blast. Um, when the gas thing explodes, the air and the pressure pushes out and actually um, creates movement, right? Not from the heat and stuff, but just the explosion, the expansion. And that's a concussion. And the last one here, discretion. Um, discretion means not getting information, not knowing details, uh, keeping secrets, things like that. That leads us to our discussion question, which is, what would you do if you were the pilot? Oh, okay, there's a bunch of different situations here with Charlie trying to signal the pilot, Charlie running and jumping on the ladder, um, Dante going in there, the explosion, Asking, asking the people who they are. I mean, all sorts of stuff going on. But if you were the pilot of this ship in this whole situation of this airplane, sorry, what would you do? And of course, please make your own discussion question. 
That is all the time that we have for today, but thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.